Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Athena and today's video is the Lululemon Wonder Train leggings versus the Lululemon Align leggings. So the Lululemon Wonder Trains got changed. They used to have the logo on the back but now it's like at the bottom of the leg. So I purchased the new ones to do a real good comparison and I got brand new aligns. I know they changed the material. I do feel it a little bit. So we're going to try them on. We're going to see the difference and we're gonna compare it. So before I get started, I just wanted to put out my Instagram, my OnlyFans, my Patreon, and my TikTok are all gonna be down below if you wanna follow me there as well. I am 5'6", five, 5'7", five, around 150 pounds. I usually wear a size six, so I got both of these in size six, my usual size. It's what I used to wear in all leggings anyways. I'm gonna put links to both the leggings down below if you'd like to buy them online as well or in stores. They sell them both. They also always have these two in stock. Okay, so before I start trying these on, I just wanna say that these are both $98. So if you're on the fence about one or the other, they are the same price. I think that's a really good thing. Sometimes the Lululemon leggings, some of them tend to go a little bit more and buy like a bit of a drastic price. I think some of them are like $118, even though there's nothing special about them. So these are the most famous i would say lululemon leggings it used to be aligns versus wonder trains but i mean wonder unders but now it is wonder train they kind of phased out the wonder unders they all went on markdown which honestly i think is a good thing i think those leggings were horrible and i'm glad that they changed the align fabric we're gonna test it out to see if it's actually that good but i do prefer it because i did like the aligns more when i first started getting into lululemon but i would get the wonder unders more just because they did last a little bit more but even those would pill a lot they would get those like little little fuzzy balls that like are just awful so we're gonna try them out the wonder train i'm always a huge fan i always just get those whenever the colors go on sale i would get them so we're gonna see if they switched it up and kind of made a good thing bad because i'm a little bit nervous about the logo placing i think the logo at the back was really cute especially for people that like the wonder under and kind of are phasing into wonder trains because that's just the iconic logo it's just on the back and i feel like it makes it look more casual rather than on the leg it looks a lot more sporty at least that's what i've noticed i've seen people wear it and i'm just not a huge fan it kind of reminds me of the fast and free if you've seen those they look like this they have like the pocket on the side those i think look super sporty those are honestly one of my like least favorite leggings that lulu has come out with so let's try it on okay and so these are the black aligns this is a full coverage view like i said i am five six five seven so i am on the taller side but these are the 25 inch length and i think they fit perfectly based off the feel of it i think they do feel a lot like slicker rather than soft that's how i would kind of describe it i feel like the lines the minute i would put them on before it just felt so soft and it kind of felt like i was wearing nothing i know that's the kind of point of it especially because they are yoga pants they're supposed to feel like you're not wearing nothing you know like you're kind of naked these definitely feel like i'm wearing something so i think that's the biggest difference if that's one of the things that you love about the older lines you are going to be severely disappointed based off the way it looks i think it looks exactly the same to be honest i just feel kind of I honestly feel like they're falling. Like I keep having to pull them up. They are, they do stay in place. It's just that slick feeling I guess I'm not really used to. It kind of feels like they threw some Luxstream in there. If you know that material, like on the on the on-to-go pants, like the, the stretch high-rise pants, that's kind of how it feels. A closer look, it still has those same like logo tag type things. It's literally exactly the same. The back has the same kind of Y shape that goes inwards on your butt, but which I don't think honestly is that flattering. I think the Wonder Trains are a little bit more flattering in terms of that, but they are really, really stretchy. These are the black version, so I can't really speak too much on if it is kind of full coverage covering your underwear, but I am not wearing like seamless underwear and I think it holds up pretty well. So they're good. I just, I wouldn't say I would buy them again, honestly. I think they're good. I think if they pill significantly less, it would be great. But they also sh just shouldn't be pilling in general, especially for $98 leggings. So I think I would stick with the Wonder Train. We're going to try them on and hopefully, hopefully they feel like the same fit. I'm a bit nervous because I, I do absolutely love the Wonder Trains. I bought a ton of pairs. I think they are really worth it. So the fact that they changed it up, I'm like, no. But yeah, if you're a fan of the old Aligns, it is going to be a personal preference type thing. I think I would personally prefer the older ones. I don't like that you do have to deal with the with the fact that they will pill, but I think it just is significantly better in terms of feel. These do feel soft, but a little bit too sleek. So let's try the Wonder Trains. 
Okay, and so this is the Wonder Train. I think to the blind eye, it probably look exactly the same as the Aligns, but honestly, the feeling of it feels a lot more hugged in and tight. This feels a lot smaller than my usual size sixes. So I'm wondering if it's maybe because they've been used more and this one is still like brand new with the tags, but it does give that like, like sucked in feeling, which I honestly like, I feel like even on the side view, you can tell it kind of holds in your stomach a little bit more, which I prefer honestly just that over anything else because I hate the feeling of having to want to pull up my pants. So like I said, the logo is back here now instead of the back part here, which I really wish it was. I think they kind of look like off-brand leggings without the logo on the back, especially if they do have ones that do and then some that don't. It just, I don't know why they changed it. But I do think the fabric is exactly the same. I think the fit is exactly the same, honestly. It still has this draw cord at the front that the other ones have as well which you can tighten it or not. I usually don't have to use them. I think the sizing is just really perfect with these. I feel like the fast and freeze, which I kind of compare both of them to, the fast and freeze, I always had to use the drawstring and I was constantly tying it, you know, had to double knot it. And then when I was like running or I had to use the bathroom, I would have to unknot it. It just took forever. I hated it. These I think are so much better. I've been wanting to try on the Wonder Train pocket version and the contour fit. So I think that's what I'm going to get for another video because I've been really curious especially because they did change the logo for both of them. I was like, I wonder how the difference is really going to be. But I feel like Lulu doesn't really do well with pockets. So I am just a big fan of these in general. I am going to keep using the ones with the logo on the back for like just casual wear with like a sweatshirt or like a normal shirt, even something like this. That's the only problem with the logo on the back. I feel like it makes this outfit look a lot more sporty than casual, which the Alliance have a good job in doing, especially with the logo in the back. But overall, I think if you have the money to spend and you want to choose a legging, I would personally recommend getting the Wonder Train. I think the Align, honestly, are still probably going to pill. They've lost that like super comfortable feeling. And I think these are just more durable for everything else. Even if you go in store, the usually the workers will tell you not to get the Aligns if you're going to do any sort of exercise that's not yoga. And I've worn Aligns to yoga and they've still pilled. And these have just held up great. I've been able to do every single exercise with them. With them. They're super stretchy. I'm just a huge fan and I really like this like kind of compressed feeling. I think it's only annoying when you have to like put them on after getting dressed or when you're like a little bit still wet from the shower, but I think they're just so great. Also the fabric is Everlux with it. They didn't change. I love it. It's super fast drying and it doesn't pill. So I love it. Honestly, if you want to spend the money on leggings, I would totally recommend the winter trains over the aligns, even with the updated version. I think they made it a little bit worse. So that is my recommendation. I think the fit is also a little bit more flattering. I know black is a little bit difficult to see. I wore kind of unseamless underwear to see if you'd be able to check from the back, but because they're black, they usually cover both of it. But I find that the Wonder Train, even the lighter colors, tend to have a little bit more like coverage when you're wearing like colorful underwear or underwear with like the seaming. Rather than the aligns, they kind of show everything. I know a lot of people only wear thongs with the aligns or only wear like nothing, which I think is a little too much for leggings. And I know that Lululemon sells underwear that's supposed to be seamless and it's supposed to work with the underwear. And I know everyone's going to be like, just get that underwear from Lulu. My problem with those underwears are it's not cotton. It's made from what feels like kind of polyester. It feels like what the leggings are made out of, which isn't really breathable and it could mess up with your pH balance. So I just totally recommend just getting cotton underwear, maybe getting Wonder Trains, covers the seams. For the long run, it's just a lot better. So yeah. All right, so I'm gonna end this video here. Thank you all so much for watching. If you like this video, you can like and subscribe. All my social medias are gonna be down below, including my Instagram, Patreon, OnlyFans, and TikTok if you wanna follow me there as well. I'm gonna put the links to both these leggings below with my kind of body stats as well as the sizes I got and the price. They're around $98. So that's the end of this video. Thank you all so much for watching and stay tuned for the next video.